Good I'm, morning, Hank. Good morning. How's it going? Good. So, so first off, I notice it's nice and calm. The, so, so parents are not supposed to park in the front anymore. That is right. So the, we like kids to like say thank you for hugs cleaning and, that up. Hugs and goodbyes, <laughs> and then come right on campus. So, but the kids are in first period right now, and the, it's all quiet around here. It used to be bananas mm -hmm. here in the front. So now, basically, if your parents uh, through Stevens Lane, go to the back. Yeah, um, we have three drop-off points. They could drop off on Remington, on Stevens, or come right through the parking loop. That's probably the fastest. Awesome, right where the basketball courts are uh -huh, at exactly. in the back. Yeah. So, should we bug your your associates? Yeah, let's go uh, say first. Hi. Let's go say hi. To say the hello office. to them. What's going on, Kamal? Kamal's daughter went to. Hi, Quimby you went to Quimby. Well. Go go go! <laughs> so, walking into the front office right now. This is where you want to try not to be. <laughs> Half the time. And right away, here's Miss Doxy. She's an assistant Doxie. principal here. How's it going? And then if you're tardy or need anything with attendance, you see Miss Pinner. Miss Pinner has been here since <laughs> I was here in seventh grade. Oh. So a lot of Paul Former Lobos probably oh my gosh, saying hello. Nobody <laughs> knows power school or how to keep this place in check like Miss Pinner. She's around this. We She's around the show for a long time. We have time. a new health clerk, so Tinder, awesome. Miss awesome. B. Yeah, let's, let's take a quick look at the nurse's sure. office. Another place, hopefully, the kids do not end up. But if you do, she'll take care of you. Awesome. This is Missy. How's it going? I'm Roman. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Thank you for taking care of the kiddos. This mm -hmm. is the nurse's office. Yes. All the boo-boos are handled. Yep. Here. Unreported. And parents are called. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Cool. So, good morning. Good morning. This is Miss George. Hi, Miss George. She's an assistant principal How's it going? at LSI director. And here is Miss Blightman. She's a math teacher for LSI. Hey, so this is something you'll see often. <laughs> The AP collaborating with teachers, talking about kids and instruction. Awesome. Very cool. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. And then... This is where you don't want to be. This oh, yeah, is... Uh, nobody wants to come in there. Miss Vera's uh, office. <laughs> don't end up there. Oh, nice. We, so, we show, show this, too. So Miss Vera's got a shot at all these cameras, right? Taking care um, of the kids. Yeah, a lot of security. A lot of security. So she's hanging out and constantly <laughs> taking a peep at everything if she needs to. That's awesome. That's very cool. Didn't have that when we were around in 2000. Oh, cool. So this is a really important part. Um, this is a student center. So kids come in here to check in with us. How's it going? going? Another place you don't want to be? Uh, with these depends, on, depends on the situation. <laughs> You probably don't want to go in here, though. It's a bit of a war. Oh, God. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So where are we now? So one more uh, assistant principal office. So this is also where you'll find your uh, student counselor. This is Miss Mai. She's our current hey, Ms. counselor. Hey, Miss Roman. Nice to meet you, She's going to be making a big move to Colorado oh. on Friday. Awesome. But at any rate, come to cool place. office. Cool yeah. place there. This is an awesome place. She's counselor's up. office. Yes. Kids can come. Check in, check on grades. Talk about whatever they want talk to talk about. Talk about whatever they need to talk about. Very cool. Yeah. And then, What's this Instagram? I can help you. Yeah, so we work with an organization called I Can Help, which um, helps kids delete negativity online. Awesome. Social media so important. is so prevalent, uh -huh, especially with middle schoolers. Um, so we teach them a lot about boundaries and safety and how to act appropriately online. So this is, this is one strategy we like to use. And what to say, what not to say, and then what to do when exactly. you're actually... Going through something. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And then uh, yeah. respect. Yep. So we're always focusing on this element for sure. It's one of our values. Mm -hmm. So kids are always learning those kinds of things. Another one is just making sure you're a good friend. Right. And providing empathy. And then this is like an unfortunate board that we have to have, but it's really important to educate our kids on, common uh, on vaping. Mm. And how that's really that's been like, big lately. Yeah, it's it's sad. We yeah. uh, get a lot of guest speakers. We share our kids really real information about those choices and hope that they make the right one. And no doubt they're targeting with all these flavored, exactly colored, targeting uh, our young kids. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So then behind here is Doxy's office. Okay. That's the AP that you met when you walked in the office. Got it, got it. Okay. Um, and the cool thing about Miss Doxy. She's one of two assistant principals. So I have three. Ooh, wait but, till we get here. <laughs> but I have three, and Miss Doxy is also working for the district office now. Her job is to retain new teachers. Okay. So that Quimby has that leadership is. Really and if, if any of your parents want to know, the Evergreen District Office is literally right yeah, across the street, right over there. So, we got a little golf cart uh, tour. She's got it all ramped up and ready. It's <laughs> vroom vroomed. But first, we're going to check out LSI. So, this is one of the latest uh, additions, um, all technology focused. 
Mrs. Ver, which I think is huge, definitely going to be the future for our kids. And we're smack dab in the middle of uh, Silicon, Silicon Valley. Valley. This was added. Um, this is uh, an artist who did the mural inside of Evergreen High School, too. It's kind of hidden by the trees, but we'll see it in a second. But that was actually added in 2001 yeah. when this old when, man when, the library, when this the old library. man was there. <laughs> When the library was updated, but yeah, so, this so building's when, three years old. When did you you come in, Mrs. Vera? About two years two, ago. 2015. Okay. I was here, and so we started. The purpose of LSI is to make sure we're giving kids an option of choice. Mm -hmm. So this is a 100% project-based learning environment okay. with one-to-one -one technology. We're partnered with the New Tech Network, awesome. which is a national nonprofit that works in schools all across the country and Australia. Wow. Um, and so the teachers here, it's a completely different model. They're team teaching. It is 100% online, mm. um, so the students use their laptop just like they would use their notebook, mm -hmm. um, and they are working on uh, collaboration, communication, and critical That's thinking. Awesome. Just like they would be at Cisco Systems when they're working exactly. jobs one day. So you'll notice inside these classrooms um, a true uh, kind of like Facebook vibe environment right. because we feel that the environment is also conducive to how kids learn, mm -hmm. and we want kids to have choice. This program, some kids um, and some parents see school in a very specific way right. and so the lcp program is just as strong we offer technology we offer project-based typed lessons mm -hmm. but the environment is more traditional that's amazing yeah that's so, awesome. so kids have choice yep and so so this is one of the uh seven electives that are going to be offered this year that we should uh break down um but the first one we'll touch upon will be coding coding so we're going to check in right here so this is an so the cool thing about our coding course is to go this okay. um is that so LSI, LSI teachers team teach, and these math teachers got trained in a program in Stanford mm -hmm. to go ahead and implement coding, JavaScript, teaching kids how to use HTML, Insane. all of those things. But then we didn't offer that to the mm -hmm. other side of the campus. Mm -hmm. So now an LSI, an LSI teacher teaches okay. this elective, so the whole school gets coding, not okay. just LSI kids. Is this also where homeroom takes place in the morning? Homeroom is everywhere on campus, so kids get access to both buildings, and every single teacher and every AP teaches a 17-minute homeroom. Okay. So, what's, so these what's kids going are on coding here? right now. Awesome. That's incredible. Hi, this is How the are teacher. You, Hello. This is Ms. Namora. I'm Roman. Nice Hi. to meet you, ma'am. So, Ms. Namora, it's really cool. Tell us your background. You were the first engineer female... Tell us your background a little bit. Um, I was one of the first two two engineers, female engineers in my class. I awesome. graduated from University of Santa Clara. Awesome. Bronco? Yes. <laughs> yes. In seven years. So okay. Cool. Awesome. So very, I think there was one girl in the class. We That's incredible. The, we were the second year to have women. And you know how lucky they are to be learning coding, JavaScript. Um, Doing all that stuff. This is so cool. Yep. When, when Melody said we were going to do coding, I'm like, okay, 78, right? right. What's coding? <laughs> and she goes, it's programming, Julie. I'm going, oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's so incredible. just cool that, like, that history and yep. that the importance of that that kids actually can learn from someone mm -hmm. that actually knows how to do that no in the field. So it's pretty no awesome. I always Thank bring you for the that. engineering um, background and Melody's wonderful because she brings, she's a, she's got a, a She's, She's a, uh, yeah, in yes, math, math. math. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Melody's is the other assistant yeah, principal we'll that we met. We'll go, we'll go oh, no, she, I'm we'll sorry. Go She's a teacher next door. next door. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for yeah. the time. Sorry for putting you Thank on the spot. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. We'll check out the other one next door. So, this elective, Later, the kids in this elective right now mm -hmm. are LSI kids. So okay. Because we wanted to offer the same experience for LCP, her teaching partner was like, forget it. I'm going to just so, offer so, another class. Yeah. Leave had LSI as well. What does LSI stand for? Lobo School of Innovation. Look at that. On yeah. point. So kids made uh, that. that was Lobo School Lobo. of Innovation, got it. Lobo School of Innovation, and we call the other side Lobo Comprehensive Program because it's it. comprehensive to how parents understand school. The only other elective program that might be in here is leadership. Or yes, something? there's leadership, and okay. leadership is shared now. It used to be fourth period back uh -huh. in the day, uh -huh. and only LC, only one campus of the kids could take it. Uh -huh. Now it's second period, mm -hmm. and so it's now sixty. It's now ninety kids. It used to be wow. sixty. So That's now awesome. ninety kids contribute to the school. We're going to need this. Thanks <laughs> too much. So this is um, Miss Sutton. She's the other coding elective teacher. Awesome. Sorry, guys. We're, we're playing with CSS right now. So. Awesome. No cool. Uh, so this is not me Melody? Yes, this, oh, is, this is Melody. Melody. Yes. yes. Hi. I've heard so much about you, Melody. Oh, okay. Thank you for teaching. Of course. All the coding. Yeah. So how how lucky are they? I'm my stuff right now. <laughs> 
how lucky are they, right? We just want to show outside, show the School of Innovation, and how insanely lucky we are to get started. There's already like teacher next door that said she started in 78, the Sanitary Blanco. Were, were you two, what was your record? Um, I was a math major, but okay. when I was in seventh grade, there were things, I didn't want to take home like her shop. It was like, uh, so, well, yeah. um, so they had a coding elective on TRS 80s. So okay. Oh my god. So, like, this this is really, really different. We were not doing CSS. So, you know what, what are they do, so, doing right now? They're actually learning how to. Yeah. Uh, so just, just in general. Yeah, this is the example it. page that they got from code.org, and so they're just playing. They've, they've already created three of their own pages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, they link them together, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and now they're just learning some... some three of their own website pages, yes. and then they're looking... on their own topic, whatever they wanted. And they're learning back end. Yeah. How to yeah, yeah. So they created the HTML they're doing yeah. today. Yes, they right. started, I know, exactly. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So this lucky. is their first exposure to CSS, so having a separate mm -hmm. file rather than trying to do all the formatting. Incredible. In there. All so, the parents I, are going to melt. They <laughs> can show you their sites that they've been working on. Okay. Diversity of topics is amazing. Okay, awesome, awesome. Yeah, they're just super creative. I don't want to bother them. They're they're in their zone. <laughs> we're we're gonna try to cover the whole campus in about thirty minutes. Cool. So, all right, all right. take Thank care, you. guys. Keep it up. Awesome job, guys. So LSI has two floors. Um, bottom floor is seventh grade. Uh -huh. Top floor is eighth. So there are three instructional blocks. So um, for seventh grade, they take world arts. Uh -huh. um, discovery science and then problem based math, and we also offer accelerated math for LSI. Awesome. awesome. Okay. And this all goes down in the LSI building. Yep. Second, second floor, do we miss grade. anything? Eighth grade, they're in electives right now, so it's. Um, so separated by seventh and eighth. Separated by seventh and eighth. Okay. Um, and at the top, we have um, America Then and Now. Again, uh, accelerated math Correct. and um, a science class, which is STEAM focused. Okay. Uh, what does STEAM stand for? I hear that uh, a lot. Yeah, science, technology, engineering, math, and art. So um, they're including all of the disciplines. And okay. our big focus here is on engineering. We need kids to understand the new next-gen science standards. Absolutely. Miss George, you're 830 here. So Miss Pinner. <laughs> Miss Pinner. Okay, you want to hop in? Your voice, yes. Where would you like to head to? Okay, so according to our map, so the, the closest thing to us would be the old small gym, but I feel that nothing really goes down in there anymore. Um, uh, one of the electives is going to be uh, hip-hop uh, yeah, and arts, right? Yeah, and so that's gonna, that takes place in the afternoon, but we can show you the new studio. So what are we using this for? Just ca cafeteria in general? Right da here. Dances? Right uh... here. Library. Um, oh, it's the library now. Yeah, it's the library This now. is our old junkie gym <laughs> with the cafeteria floor. Yeah, and what you guys used to have um, as like a gym, I think, yes, is yes. now the staff room. Okay, so yeah, it's a staff so room, it's a library. New, this is a whole new gym facility. Yes, awesome gym facility. Uh, murals are a, new, a really new big part what of the is? campus, so the message board is where kids gather. That's where they get information. Okay. Um, we post all about the events there. So, so you theme the murals in we a way to communicate. I'm going to show you a really great one on the back of okay. on the back of PE, so that we can get down here. And Look at PE going on, studio. guys. So many. I'm sorry, Miss Bear. So many nostalgic memories. Yeah. Seventh and eighth grade is a very weird time. I know. <laughs> hey, can we see? Can we? Can we have a volunteer real quick with the new PE uniform? Come here. Can we let's check that out, dudes. Check that out. So pop, that's, pop that shirt. Let's see. What do oh. we got? Oh, Carolyn Clark. Carolyn Clark. Hey, come on. But hey, you're a Lobo. You're a Lobo now. Brand new PE uniforms. So okay. the kit that the kids designed. Awesome. See no you. worries. You're doing great. You're doing great. Awesome. I see it. I see oh, the logo. Oh, got it. Be your best self. Yeah, so that's important to us. We have images all over. Mr. Scottis! How's it going? Good to see you. <laughs> images all over the campus. So this was a big one. PE asked for some inspiration, and they want to be the leaders of the pack. So all of those symbols and those sports that we host, you're going to see evident on the new PE uniforms that, that PE teachers design. And that image right there is really important. That's a profile of a learner for Evergreen School District. So we want all kids to leave with those outcomes. So being a critical thinker, a global mindset. Um, being able to work together, be part of a team. That's awesome. Okay, so PE's out here. The Every... gym is pretty spectacular. Should we check that out Hell real quick? Yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. As almost... a true middle schooler yourself with the, with the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, these were always around uh, portables behind us. They're kind of converted and improved a little bit. I see there. 
Um, and so this is the section of, will be 8th grade, 7th grade, or just yeah, so dissected grade, this portion? Electives, um, special services. Okay. Um, we use what stuck out of my mind? It was kind of a, a health ed type class over yeah, we there. Have just... art. We have art and 21st century. Okay. Mr. Is that Mr. Luna? What's up, Mr. Luna? Thank you, sir. Jim, awesome. What happens with a lot of us, as soon as we pop the birdie, we swing. The birdie has to get down below our knees if we made contact. And that's the most we can contact. And check out the weight room since we're pretty close. Sure. If you do an official serve, you have to make contact with below your waist. You can pop the contact below. Only contact below the waist is illegal serve. Is your name up there? We're both above. I wish. We're both above. Thank you so much for letting us do this. This is very cool. Here we're gonna go right in here, and this is gonna be the okay. room one, which okay. is Wrangler's what? wrestling room, which is all redone. Okay, we gotta take a second here. So, we're not gonna tell Coach Finger we wear shoes I know, he doesn't in here. Care. We'll just walk on the edge. Yes. Can we get these on? Those on? Maybe sensors, I think, on the other side. Boom. There you go. Awesome. So, these, the Queen of the Oath haven't had new wrestling mats in 13 years. My first year as principal, that was the first thing I did. Our wrestlers fundraised, and in less than six months, we were able to fundraise. $11,000 for new mats, and that's just because of the program Spangler develops here. That's mm -hmm. important for us. That's our new, Quimby's new logo. So it shows both schools, but we are one middle school. So parents don't have to stress out picking a program. You're still going to get the same Quimby vibe, mm -hmm. whether you're an LSI or LSD. And, there, and there with the new seven electives, there's definitely something there uh, for you. Uh, wrestling is being offered for the first time. As an elective. As so an elective. Even if kids are not sure, especially seventh graders, if they want to be on the wrestling team. Hey, Ms. Rare, what's this, what's this good old thing mean? Nice. So last year we received um, the California Distinguished School Award. We were honored in Disneyland. Um, Very cool. And we were really proud of that award. And we won the award because of our development for a school within a school. Mm. So we have not changed Qu Quimby's reputation. We've enhanced it. So we won the award again. This is like the sixth California Distinguished School Award. Through the door, you can see kids just sprinting on by with their PE clothes, which is uh, so important, I think, uh, in this day and age with video games and so many things. Now, like coding being prevalent, prevalent, exactly. they're all sitting in chairs, right? And it's so important. They say sitting is the new smoking that we need to actually be able to get up, move, and especially at an age where their brains are so rapidly uh, developing and growing. Let's check out the new um, weight room and the new okay. hip-hop dance studio. So this little side thing here is we've, just we've a... we clean that out. That's going to be the official weigh-in room now when we have wrestling tournaments. So we like to host that. It's so awkward in seventh grade, we'd be in lockers in our underwear just waiting <laughs> to, get, to get weighed. Yeah, so now we need an official weigh-in room. So what we've done is weightlifting, and you said the right thing, yep. most of our electives are physical. Mm -hmm. We've noticed research tells us that the kids need to be moving. And so our seventh and eighth graders will actually want to pick sports-based electives, so we offer it. Um, Hip-hop dance, wrestling, Mr. volleyball. Right, right when you said volleyball. So Mr. Scott is actually in seventh and eighth grade. I know girls who went on to play NCAA Division II volleyball yeah. that were actually coached by Mr. Iskanis in seventh grade and eighth grade here going on to county championships. And I guarantee some of them are listening uh, right now. So um, that was yeah. cool seeing him, hey guys. seeing Mr. Luna. Hey What's up, guys? Also, Monday morning. This is how Monday mornings look at Quincy. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so this room is a work in progress, but this Ooh. is the teacher's dream. The teacher's dream. I gave them 100%, let's see if the light's over here. I gave them 100% rain to make a fitness room. Pectoralis, deltoids, quadriceps, hamstring yeah, quads. Yeah, proved to me what they could do with uh, weight rooms. Sorry, I don't know what's up with that. Who, di who did all these uh, murals? So, that's yeah. a great story. Here we go. So, this is a San Jose guy who did a lot of mural work at Catherine Smith Elementary School. Okay. Him. He's a spray paint artist who now has changed his life and he's made a whole career out of this. Wow. So he's muraled our whole campus. 
So we it's have now written a grant mm -hmm. because they've proved to me how much they're going to use this room. So the Ellen Show already shouted out our hip-hop dancers no for way. National Dance Day last Friday. Sweet. So check out our Instagram and our Facebook. Hold on. You got, you got Ellen on Friday, Facebook on Monday. You're killing them, Ms. Yeah. Vera. It's I'm so really happy. Exciting. I'm so happy you took the reins Thank you. over. And yeah, so, I mean, it looks small, but it's a little something that gives kids a place to work. Mm -hmm. So fourth period, they come in here. They have a weight training class with Mr. Esclanis, who teaches them, like, one of the other routines, seven one electives. One-on-one -on -one, one -on -one mm -hmm. kind of fitness training. Awesome. No other middle school is giving kids that. Awesome, awesome. So we mentioned volleyball. We mentioned rest, resting's a uh, new uh, elective. Weight training's a new elective. Weight training, um, hip-hop dance, and coding, so, and so yearbook, yearbook art. So yearbook it's a completely arts. online, digital yearbook development, mm -hmm. which kind of goes in line with coding and everything else. They are using an online platform to develop the yearbook, mm -hmm. and there's no waste, because awesome. um, it is, like, you order it as you go, Be your so best kids self. aren't wasting paper, they're really being green about it, which is an okay. awesome concept. Probably thinking about, like, a digital version or something yep. like that with yearbook. Okay, yep. awesome. Off to New Gym, we did that already. Stage, just check that out. Uh, we, PE, can we can check out two new murals right here. Kind of funky in PE lockers. I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, <laughs> circle the Algebra first. They're, they're safe, and that's our next thing <laughs> that we want a mural. Okay. So if we if we go this way, you can see these two new murals that we did in Y, and then we can pop into band. Okay. The band's right over here. All right. So I was in band. I was I was I was head of the drums. Who was your teacher? Probably the only kid at that age who could play the drum set. Mrs. Fernandez. Oh. She must have retired or something. Yeah. Right now. Okay, so this mural is super important. And so is the one right next to it. Okay. Because when you stand up there on the quad as a new seventh grader, a new seventh grade parent, mm -hmm. you have no idea where to go. Right. So these are building identifiers. So kids know now that we have a three minute passing period. Right. I'm gonna walk towards the math building because I know math classes are there. And I'm going to use that mural to help me get to language arts and history. That's, that's right, awesome. and it's just like inspiring. Just like, just like the message board we saw, yep. it allows kids to know, okay, what is the message board? Let me exactly. tell mom and dad about the message board. This is a way that they can stay exactly. updated on things. Yeah, and kids don't like to follow their school social media, yes. like their parents do. So right. if you can't get kids to follow us, they know to go up to the message board and yep. check in about what's going on at school. And, and, and some parents think 7th, 8th grade is too early. Sure. It, it was very interesting. It's, so Australia removed uh, like likes mm -hmm. from Instagram. Did you hear yeah, that? I did. And I get the message of the madness. There's, yeah. there's a whole science behind that. This is the other one, language arts and history. Same artist, same story. The cool thing about working with one artist, he gets to know your school and your district story. But letting the kiddos know right away, this is the area. Exactly. That you want to Everybody be. knows where to go. No one is late. Everyone's on time. Awesome. I feel like Spanish was over there or something. Yeah, we don't. Or was history. Um, language arts. Okay. Language arts and history are, are these two buildings right here. Got it. Yeah. Got it. I see the history one towards the end there. So th there's a mural at the end for history. All right. Lead the way, boss. Okay, let's um, let's walk through band. Yes. So we have um, an awesome new band director. His name is Mr. Ortega. Okay. Um, he collaborates a lot with EVHS. Okay. Most of our kids feed into EVHS. Correct. Absolutely. Silver or Silver Creek or uh -huh. Mount, a little sprinkling of Mount Pleasant or Summit Rainier. Got it's it. also a really good school. Okay. Never heard, never heard of Summit Rainier. Summit is Rainier kind of is charter like a, private? It's like a school within a school model okay. on Mount Pleasant's campus. Ah, got it. Offering tailored learning a lot like what they do in LSI. Right. So Ocala, Ocala was doing something similar with that school within a school, right? Right, with like their LPS leadership yes, kind of academy. Yes. Yeah. So room 23 is the band room. Oh, I hear it. I hear it. Okay. Um, this is going to be too weird. It's, gonna, it's a total band nerd, band nerd slash wrestler. To the other door. Okay. Sorry. Good. Is there a double lock? Double lock. Don't bother us while we're tuning our tuning our tuning our instrument. <laughs> no, that's good. That's so important. And I and I remember in seventh and eighth grade this is the safest place it can yeah, be. Yeah, it's a super secure campus, even though. What's going it on seems with open. uh food right on nutrition? I noticed on the way in there was a, a day in life uh kind of green leaf truck. Pulling up, um, was that between those same buildings and the same? Oh no, actually, there right we go. Here, right, where, right when I pulled right. up. So that's yeah. where we moved to. So we offer kids to not buy breakfast in the morning, and then we okay. offer fast line lunch or okay. regular school-based lunch. Uh -huh. Fast line's awesome for kids that like. Oh, well, they're always on the go. They're, and they're always hungry. Yeah. yeah. All right, so here's fans. You're on the run. So cool. 
Shout out to the percussion section. Man. What's up, guys? So many good memories, and I think it's uh, so important for kids to be, you know, they're reading how to write music, read music at such a young age. We don't understand, but it's more than music. It translates to their mind. It was chaos like this until things got settled down. Okay, we should sneak on out before they attract too much attention. Thank you for that. Man, we just about covered every single base. Yeah, we could right pick time. up the golf cart again, but when we walk around, we didn't even we need check, it, right? <laughs> we could check in some science classes because okay. they're doing an engineering lesson where they're building spaghetti bridges. Okay. And testing out their weight. Cool. Miss Singe, keeps us cleaner hey, Miss All right, man, we blew through everything. Uh, leadership. <laughs> I, I was prepped. You yep. me good notes. Leadership course, student perspectives, um, leadership. Yeah, leadership's pretty straightforward as far as what they're doing elective-wise or what parents can expect them um, to learn. Is it correlated with yearbook, kind of, no? Yes, they collaborate together, but we wanted yearbook to be its own thing. Kids really being historians and making memories. Okay. And we want leadership to be more than kids just running the school dance. Right, we right, want right. leadership to be kids really doing something mm -hmm. to impact our school environment. Right. And so this is one teacher that, do that does that every day. She used to be a project-based learning teacher. Okay. She's now teaching seventh grade science. Okay. But kids are in lab right now. Sweet. Is this, is, this, is this spaghetti bridges you're talking about? LCP science, but same collaborative feel. Cool. Very similar furniture. Hello. Awesome. Miss Will, I'll see you our athletic director. Uh huh. And she is a pretty famous coach for our basketball team. Awesome. For uh, the girls? Boys, boys basketball. Okay. Is Miss Olden still around? She retired son? last oh. year. She was awesome. Yeah, she retired last year, and Mr. Luna is now the girls' basketball coach. Okay. And they went undefeated last year. Oh, man. That's awesome. Yeah. I see it. And sure. mine right here. <laughs> Dylan. How's it going, buddy? What's going on? Good to see you. Good to see you. Do you know him? Yeah. <laughs> well, he's, a he's a little shocked right now I that I know his dad very well. <laughs> but uh, but awesome. Like, well, so what are the kids doing right now? They, these are... Spaghetti bridges. So they have to. They're supposed to be drawing a blueprint, the dimensions that their bridge will actually be, um, and they have uh, parameters. A little, so, little spec engineering going on. Yeah. So the span. One thing that they're having a little difficulty with is the span is supposed to be 35 centimeters. Okay. But they don't realize they have to build it longer than that because the span is 35. So I keep sending them. Making back. sure everything leverages correctly so it doesn't fall apart. Exactly. So they'll be um, testing it at the end. Uh, the other teacher actually is testing, I think, today mm. in her classroom. Uh, um, Basically simulating this. Modern architects. Yeah, so they'll kind of actually, like, there's a bucket and they'll be putting weights in it to see how much it actually It holds weighs. up. Yeah. Okay, so, awesome. But like I said, I think they're done and they're testing. So, um, cool. I yeah. think one of the coolest things to watch, which is different than when your kid is in elementary school, is look at the trust in the room. They're using glue guns, mm -hmm. they're using devices to really build something. The kids are like super collaborative and it's a safe environment. Mm -hmm. And that's because the teachers. Right. They just train them awesome. And the kids are so darn smart. I know. Yeah. These really days. Are. What's up, guys? Hey. Hey, what up? Hey, I wanted to show you something. Let's do it. Let's do it. Show you something real oh, quick right here. Let's come to the back. So this is something super important. So we instituted um, an online feature for just our kids on the website and for parents called the Logo Helpline. Okay. Bullying is such a prevalent thing. Seventh graders not knowing how to transition. Parents not knowing where to go to get help. They just log on right here, send us a message. It goes directly to the admin team and the school counselor. Completely anonymous. There's the ability for them to upload attachments. It's automated. Automated. So that we can respond in record time. A Addressing kids' issues before no seventh grader wants to come up to the office, right, and right, so we're right. trying to like um, many times they, they want to stay anonymous. That. Parents want to stay anonymous. They just want it taken care of. And, they want and then what happens is nobody reports, and right. we're trying to make good people and not just good students. So this is something that's helping us a lot. And then we don't that way you don't let issues build up in the 24 hours. They can be addressed somehow. Exactly. And right? this is in every single classroom, and it's addressed in homeroom. And then yeah. right away, there's already counseling forms in every homeroom class. If a kid wants to just talk about a class that's hard or they don't know how to manage
charge their time. They're pre-signed by us, so literally all the kid has to do is self-refer. That's my very first question. So parents show up, you walk in, we're early before class, homeroom. I keep hearing about this homeroom. Where does that where does that take um, place? Yeah, so homeroom. You, you got distracted is, by LSI. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Yeah, so homeroom is something that we implemented. Um, last school year, mm -hmm. every single teacher teaches a section of homeroom. Doesn't okay. matter if you're LSI or LCP. Every single student takes homeroom. They're all okay. mixed up, LSI and LCP. The focus is on engagement, mm -hmm. a positive adult to start your day in a mm -hmm. nice way, mm -hmm. and restorative justice. So they circle up mm -hmm. and they talk about how to um, kind of like solve problems right. before typically you would just like suspend a student or they'd get right. a, a detention. Right. They're talking about those issues in homeroom so that when they are in the classroom mm -hmm. or around campus, they know how to handle it. And if they didn't do their homework last night the, and they get there early, it's a place to kind hall. of catch up. Exactly. It's like study hall, essentially. So this is the other seventh grade science. I'm not sure they're testing. Okay. Oh, I, I, I see spaghetti. Oh, you guys finished? Oh, but look at some of these, how they've oh. constructed them. Awesome. Really awesome. And that's like 100% trust. Like, seventh graders used hot glue and nobody was worried about that's it. That's pretty solid. That's right. Modern day engineering going on. Exactly. Here. Well, architects. Thank you, Mr. Gupta. So yeah, yeah. sorry, for, sorry for popping in, bothering you guys. You're welcome anytime. Periodic tables. Thank you so much. What's up, guys? Say hello. Awesome, awesome. Take care, guys. So one thing that we're also establishing because of our work with um, the New Tech Network and LSI mm -hmm. is this whole vibe of giving the campus tour. Okay. So kids are super. Um, adaptable to lots of administrators or visitors coming through, telling right. our school story, right. sharing what we believe in, sharing our values. So when you walk into classrooms, kids kind of expect it now, right, right. and they want to interact. So it's pretty cool. Uh, Fujimoto, Peer Advisory, Service Learning. That's cool. another new elective, Service Learning. He's creating that all on his own. He's on prep right now. Peer Advisory and Service Learning. But his classroom is super engaging. And Thirty five the safest place for kids to come. Awesome. He just just has memorabilia of all of them. Kids feel loved when they come in here. That's so and cool. And they make really good connections with him. Very cool. Hey, Mr. Fuji. We're just doing a tour. Bothering you on your break, sorry. Oh, no problem. Oh, this is insane. Yeah, so I, peer advisory, they're talking about life goals, the game of life. They're literally putting that together. Um, their college journey, researching that, influential adults. So kids are connecting with adults that are not just their parents. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of anti-drug, anti-bullying kind of campaigns, giving kids a chance to talk about all of those things. And then for service learning, he's working on teaching kids how to give back. Awesome. Right, so it's starting small right now. Like they're taking care of all of schools recycling. Um, mm. Trash is a big issue. So they're volunteering, helping the custodians as TAs. Awesome. It's pretty cool. Just an open place to kind of talk about everything, right? Anything yeah. and everything. Yep. A lot of empathy going on here. Thank you for that. The character education is big and awesome. Character yeah. education. That's awesome. Nice. I remember the celebrities, too. That, that's a good thing. So what, what's, what's one thing, Ms. Fujimoto, that you could think of that you kind of want to focus on this year with them? We talked about cyberbullying and how to deal with that, right? What are you kind of hearing uh, from the kids or just, just kind of overall goal of every year is uh, to let them be open, be themselves. Uh-oh, Mr. Barber. Mr. <laughs> Barber. That's going to get the most reactions right there. They don't remember him. I've always told and them. I you remember. I don't remember him. Okay, okay. It was a love-hate relationship. But they, they needed to be a Mr. Barber. Let's say that. Yeah. Uh, he held the kids in check. Yeah, he kept the chaos in order. Um, he, he, Genuinely love the kids. Like that's and that's the key for teachers, right? right. We, we need to make sure that we love the kids and we support them. Right. You just have different way of handling <laughs> situations. I see these math enrichment cubbies. There's different cubbies for different things. Art, math yeah, enrichment. Math, that's just my storage for. I teach math during the summer. Okay. The math enrichment program. So these are your dividers, kind of art, hardware, and tools. Okay. Like supplies, and then the cubbies for the kids are all the ones with the. Awesome. These cutout magazines. Is there another project we're, going we're on? We're working on a project right now, a collage, a developmental asset collage. So that they're looking for awesome. pictures of the different assets. Okay. Cool. Cool. Thank you so much. No Appreciate the time. So before we head to the golf cart, do you want to check out the art studio? Sure. That would cool. be great. That would be great. So art is, when we're talking about steam, Mm -hmm. So art is another one of those factors, and the cool thing about the art instructor uh -huh. is that she also weaves in social-emotional learning, 
So just all the stuff that kids are going through, mm -hmm. she teaches them how to create through it. Awesome. Yeah. So she's awesome. We're gonna we're about to rotate soon. The bell's gonna ring. Oh yeah, and that's what I was gonna say. We did we did everything perfectly. I think when it was like the calmest time, <laughs> and now we're pushing our luck because the once these kids see, all get out. It's gonna be. Probably it's gonna when be you were here, bananas. you had a nice five minute passing period. <laughs> now we have three. It's like oh. fast motion here. Probably feels like 30 right seconds. In here. Okay. And then we can cut through and you can see the yearbook room. Okay. So here's Miss Gill. Here's the RGB. They're about to rotate. Sweet. Right. Right. So she was showing a super engaging yes, TED talk this yeah. morning, but like this is open space for all of them to create. Okay. Miss Gill is also really gifted at mainstreaming and making sure that any student with a special need is incorporated into her classroom. Okay. So they all get the experience of art. Very cool. Yeah. Awesome. I can smell the art. Uh -huh. It actually smells very clean. Uh -huh. Art that's been cleaned already. Fabulous. I'm Roman. Very nice to meet you, man. Nice, nice to meet you. Too. Thank you for all that you do. Appreciate yeah. it. And then so right through this hidden door. Okay. This is, this used to be the most cutting edge room on campus. Okay. And it almost looked like Mr. Ortega like that. <laughs> Awesome. And this so now we yearbook. really enhance it. Journalism, yearbook. Yearbook. Yeah. That's so cool. So no, no more traditional chalkboards. That is a Exactly. A and some of the ones, board. even those are smart, but you can use the pen on it. Okay. Yeah. Or some people thought they turned out like similar Oh, that was perfect. I think that's a perfect segue to end on as we golf cart sure, to the office, golf right? Sure, golf cart to the office. Let's see. Take care, guys. These cards you'll see a lot. Every classroom has one. These are okay. filled with MacBooks or Chromebooks. Science uses Chrome. So that's the difference between LSI and LCP. Mm. All the kids have access, but mm. you're gonna it's not one-to-one -one for L for LCP. But we have enough supplies for mm -hmm. teachers to be able to be one-to-one -one if they want to. Right, and just create those over to the next place. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, Nippy Bye. Later dudes. See ya. That was epic. Can you imagine a concerned mom who's moving from Texas and she's just trying to Google what it's going to be like for her son and she just got this in about 20 minutes? Take a tour. And like... Possible school choice, yeah. And, and just like, okay, forget the private school. Quimby's going to be a great place. Yeah, I think that, for that is um, also really important for our district. Right. To make sure we're offering the coolest options possible so that we're retaining our students. Right. We need them to be prepared. Evergreen is unique because Evergreen is only a K-8 district. Right. We are not part of a high school. Right. So that is really important to us to make sure we're collaborating with all the high schools that these guys feed into. So these kids are prepped so and ready. Yeah. There's no overlap. Or... So look how fast they go. Three minutes right. passing before the bell rings. They're already in class. Very even with party. even with basketball in middle school. Hey, girlfriend, who are you texting? It's another. Oh, cut, cut later. Uh, yeah, it's another level even with with basketball. When we see in middle school, they're just running with their heads ground down. They're they're yeah. moving so fast. Yeah. Um, it was such an important time, I think, for learning for the brain development. Their girls. Hey. Say what's up. What's up? <laughs> Say what's up to the YouTube. Oh, the YouTube. <laughs> cool. YouTube. Live stream! I can't, I, I can't thank you enough for this. this yeah, is so this cool. is great. We like uh, sharing our story. We want more people to know what we're doing here. Right. Um, I know that we had a principal here that was for a really long time, and Quimby has a reputation for what, what they're known for as athletics. Right, and right. Like, being a powerhouse. Being a powerhouse. Powerhouse right? program. So Peter we school. are still all of those things, except we're much more student-centered. Right. We want kids to feel really engaged here. And just like this action, there's no horse play, there's no rough housing, there's no bad interactions in the bathroom, and we hear all of those things um, as kids come to middle school. And you know, new seventh grade parents are scared. Right, right. right. It's a very tough age. Yeah. Um, probably the most confusing finding yourself type exactly. age. And so we feel that because of our new electives and because of homeroom and because we give kids choice with the LCP and the LSI, right. they walk around like this, like hugging each other. Right, come right. Come on, come on. <laughs> When you look down here, that's where you see the murals. Kids know exactly where to walk. Right. Before, they didn't have that. It was kind of like figuring it out. Kids had their maps. Everyone was very nervous. Now, kids feel... You're really essentially you're using visuals in a very positive way, in a very artistic way. Yeah. Tom Carlos, an artist who's watching, too. Hey! 
Well, Mrs. Barry, you're amazing letting us thank into your you. home, doing everything for us. I couldn't imagine it going any better. Just want to say thank you for everything you've thank done. You. Thanks for and visiting. And for letting us into your home. We wish thank you the best, you. okay? Take you guys care. take care. Quick Hope you enjoyed baby. it.